YouTube is gonna release two updates that will reshape the game on YouTube as we know it and make it significantly easier to earn money. These two updates are gonna be bonkers, so watch this video till the end to find out what these new features are and how you could take the full potential of these new features. So let's not waste a second and jump straight into action. YouTube is always talking about CTR, how important it is and how every creator should work on improving it. In the latest video on this channel, we have already talked about the upcoming thumbnail testing feature. Yeah, the feature where you upload 100 thumbnails and YouTube tests them and then automatically chooses the best one for different viewer groups. So that was just the warm up. In every video for the past few years, I was saying time and time again that CTR is not just about the thumbnail. Thumbnail and the title. These are two ingredients of a good CTR. And YouTube is gonna soon release a mind-blowing new feature, AI Suggested Titles. Now, as you type in the title you came up with, YouTube AI will analyze it and your video and suggest an improved version. YouTube will create viral video titles for you. Wow. Does it mean everyone will now have high CTR? Everyone would just upload a hundred thumbnails, write an idea for the title and let the AI do the thing? Well, not quite. I think the nature of this feature is wildly misunderstood. I have a theory that not only Mr. Beast is working for YouTube, boosting all the initiatives and ideas, but vidIQ is also YouTube's project. Hear me out, just think about it. It would have been good for YouTube to have some sort of a third-party software where you could test different new features to just later implement them on YouTube. Sounds quite reasonable, right? And vidIQ has been testing the feature that does exactly what YouTube wants to implement, AI-generated titles. We have tested it and even tried using it. You just enter the title for a video, click go, and get an AI-generated title, description, keywords, a short script idea, a thumbnail template, and so on. But after testing, we found out that the AI doesn't quite get the gist of titles, and that AI-generated titles work a bit differently from man-made ones. It doesn't mean they're bad, no, no, no. It just means that you have to be careful with them, at least with the ones that vidIQ generates. Because the title works well only when there is a concrete idea and a synergy between the title and the thumbnail. You have to think of them as one. That's how you get high CTR. This new feature won't take the creative thinking away. It will just make things a bit easier for new YouTubers who haven't figured out their hook. I also think this update will get rid of all trashy titles on YouTube. This is long overdue. I do like this feature and especially the fact that it will contribute to higher CTR for everyone. That's cool, that's a revolution. I don't have to tell you that with higher CTR your videos get more impressions and views which consequently makes videos more profitable. Especially if the videos not only have good CTR but also entertain viewers enough. So work on that CTR yourself without waiting for the AI to do everything for you. Think of a unique idea and implement it and then your videos will go viral, then you'll have high CTR and then you'll earn money. Again, the AI is not a savior for those without creativity. It's just a helping hand to point some of you in the right direction. But don't forget that CTR is only one part of what makes good videos and contributes to their good performance. Another thing that you should never forget about is retention. And the easiest way to boost your retention is with editing. But not all editing tricks are created equal. Some are better and some are worse. We have recently made a video where we went over a few video editing tricks that help improve retention, so be sure to check it out. Yet even with all the tricks, the one thing is certain, editing is best to be done in Movavi Video Editor, which is a part of Movavi Unlimited package. Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large unwieldy footage on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy to use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters and add text, stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you are tired of struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try and now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's 
it's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link, and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Now let's move on to the second upcoming feature, and this one is strange and controversial, hyperlinked keywords. This one is being tested right now on random channels, but tell me, do you write comments? How often do you leave comments? Leave a comment with your answer, <laughs> okay. The idea is as follows. Often people spend a lot of time in the comments, like really long time. Just reading, replying to some, chatting. The thing is, comments are kind of secret gem that can give your video a boost. The more people comment on your video, the more interesting it seems for YouTube. And if a person pauses your video to leave a comment, it also boosts the retention. So YouTube does everything to make people spend more time in the comments. For example, if I make a video titled how to promote a YouTube video in five minutes, but then someone leaves a comment like, I know how to do it in one minute, some parts of that comment might become hyperlinked keywords. Clicking on them will initiate a new search that will show relevant videos to that topic and keyword. Sounds really weird and not very useful if you ask me. For viewers, this feature might be okay, since after clicking on a link, you just might switch to another video, thus increasing your watch session. But for creators on YouTube, what could we do? Basically, this feature will create links to someone else's content in the comments of your videos. It will promote your opponents instead of you. How do you like that? Luckily, on the channels where YouTube is testing this feature, authors can hide some of these hyperlinks or disable the hyperlinking entirely. But there is a good thing in this feature. While people will click on hyperlinks and browse the newly created search results, your video will stay active and plain. This way, people will have to later re-watch parts of your video, which will undoubtedly positively impact the retention. Yet I still think that this feature, if it's ever gonna be implemented, will tank the watch sessions on channels, but improve watch sessions on the platform. To us, the creators, this isn't a good feature, but for YouTube as a platform, it is. And I hope that we will have the option to disable this feature for our comments, because if not, we're screwed. So as you see, YouTube is doing something. It's working and changing. Sometimes it brings benefits for creators and sometimes for viewers. Let's just hope that these new features won't kill channels, but make them bigger, stronger, and more profitable. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it was useful to you. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Also like the video. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one.